Injection molding is a manufacturing process for producing parts by injection molten material into a mold. Many industries use it to create plastic parts for different applications. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Tim from Rapid Direct. In this video today, I will walk you through the plastic injection process at Rapid Direct and how we help you bring out the best in your product. But before I dive deep into that, let's examine how a typical injection molding project works. The first step in the process involves the customer submitting their design files on our platform and ordering the parts. After receiving the order, our plastic injection molding team reviews the project. A comprehensive DFM report is created and provided for customer approval. Upon approval, we begin mold design immediately. Tooling and mold production is a vital process in plastic injection molding. So I will take you through the process of making injection molds. We have three major injection molds material, and they are aluminum, stainless steel, and tool steel. The mold making process starts with CNC machining with larger cutting tools. Our machining capabilities allow us to make the cores, cavity, and sliders in only a few days. Our choice of material depends on the customer's specific applications. We also machine the copper block to make the EDM electrodes available after the mold completion. Okay, now we come to the EDM machining. Once the CNC machining process is done, we use electrical discharging machining to put the final touches on the geometry. The process allows us to achieve geometries that cannot be created within the miles. The sinker EDM technique is used to create fine details such as internal features and texts. After the EDM process is done, the cavity is moved directly to the finishing stage. This stage involves a fit check and precession grinding to ensure that the core and cavity are well fitted and that everything meets high tolerances. This is followed by polishing the mold to specific levels of smoothness. The polishing is crucial to remove machining marks and give the mold a smooth surface. Rapid Direct provides 12 SPI grades of polished finishes, SPI A1 to SPI D3, with surface roughness between RA0.012 micrometers to RA18 micrometers. Finally, it's time to assemble the molds. Here we bring all the components together, including the cavity, core, lifters, sliders, and inserts. The assembly process usually occurs within 24 hours after finishing the molds. Now it's time to mold some plastic parts. The first parts are created with the mold, and they are called the T0 samples. These parts show the functionality of the mold and other press parameters. These parts are also inspected for quality to show if there is a need for adjustment to the mold. Then followed by the T1 samples, which are the first set of components to be shared with the customers. These parts are continuously monitored for quality delivery and assurance. Once every parameters have been confirmed and design iterations are made, we can now go into mass production. As you can see behind me, the injection molding machines are adequately working on the production of plastic components. These components have gone through essential functional and market testing. This is why we have begun mass production. After production is complete, our quality control team starts the inspection of the components to ensure that they meet dimensional requirements and customer demands. As an ISO certified company, we ensure that every part is machined according to industry standards. Okay, we come to the end of our plastic injection molding journey today. I believe you now understand that this technique is valuable and involves expert handling to get the best results. At Rapid Direct, we are always ready to give you professional recommendations to complete your plastic molding project. From over molding to insert molding and low volume production, our skilled technicians 
will handle your project to the best of their ability. Aside from polishing, we also deliver other excellent secondary finishing options, including pad printing, silk screening, laser engraving, UV coating, ultrasonic welding, heat staking, and simple sampling. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you are enjoyed this video. We'll be back with more insightful content. See you next time. Bye bye.